So friends, welcome to Delegate Core. We had a lot of requests regarding GCC, but that is based specifically on how to install multiple GCC versions. So in this video, we are going to cover how to install GCC. Second, how to install multiple GCC version in Ubuntu. Let's start the installation. Before doing the installation, we will first update our repositories. Please make sure that GCC installation we are doing with the help of APT method. But if it is not working, then you can able to follow the link given in the description in that we had given the second method as well. Now we completed build essential installation. After that, we will directly check the git version. As you can able to see that 9.4.0 that is showing. Okay, now we completed our GCC installation. If this method is not working, so link is given in the description you can able to go and try second method now we will move towards the second part that is install multiple gcc version on ubuntu for that we first need to update repository that we already done it after that we need to install software properties command and this command you can able to use for software properties command installation once done we need to add gcc apa that contains all versions of GCC compiler. Hit enter to continue. Now it is time to re-update the packages because we need to update PAA packages. Now it is time to install multiple GCC versions. For the demonstration purpose, we are using here 12 and 13. Clear. Now, it's time to update alternative tools. The update alternative tool is used for the user to manage multiple PHP version. In our case, we are trying to create for the 12 GCC version. Let me add the GCC 12 alternative to update alternative system. Similarly, I will do with the 13. Now, we have successfully added 12 and 13. Now we can able to use alternative tool to switch between GCC versions. For that, we must need to know what versions are available in our system. So we can able to do with the help of this method. Here you can able to enter the number. So in this case, I wanted to switch to GCC 12. So in this case, I will enter here one and hit enter. Again, I will re verify it and you can see that it is now pointing to GCC 12. So this way we can able to switch. Hopefully you understand all the, uh, the things that we are trying to explain in this video. And to know more about how to set up servers and all, you can able to follow our YouTube channel that is dedicated code.com.